In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom WooCommerce thank you page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'll show you how to transform your thank you page from the default WooCommerce one, which will look something like this, to something more like this. Okay, so here we can actually customize every single element of our thank you page. Okay, so we've got our order confirmation, our shipping details, we've got um, some social icon, we've got an exclusive discount here. Okay, for everyone that's purchased, because we want to encourage them to um, purchase again from us. Okay. And then here we're displaying some of our weekly bestsellers. So you can include many other stuff such as a post checkout survey and so on. Okay, so it's totally up to you. So just like you would design any other page on your store. So you'll have the full capabilities of designing your own custom thank you page. Or if you want, you can choose from our pre-designed um, thank you page. Okay. Okay, so if you want this sort of flexibility on your WooCommerce store, the first thing we need to do is head over to allinone at checkout.com. Go ahead and download the all in one checkout plugin by WooSuite. Okay, so this particular plugin will allow you to optimize the entire checkout experience. Okay, so you'll be able to optimize the um, checkout page, customize the fields, add upsells, downsells, customize the thank you page, and so much more. So, again, I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard okay assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one at checkout plugin by WooSuite the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin so we'll go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this WooSuite menu here go ahead and click activate from here it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section okay once on this page we just need to scroll down and then here where it says all in one checkout just make sure we enable this option and i'm going to enable the pro version as well because we want to be able to customize our thank you page okay so with that out of the way let's head over to all in one at checkout okay so in your case the first step is to actually go ahead and create a new checkout form so we'll just click create new checkout here since i've already got one which i was editing earlier i'm going to go ahead and click on this one okay so just a quick overview so we've got a default um, field such as our billing details shipping details and so on we can click this settings icon and then we can drag and drop different fields onto our canvas okay and we can rearrange it as well we can do the same with existing fields so I'm just going to delete this one. Let's say you wanted to hide the name field. You can just do so. Okay. So that's just a quick overview. If you want to add multiple steps, click on this and then you can add additional steps. Okay. So we'll navigate over to um, design first. And then here we can choose our checkout page design. So we can use the default design um, which comes with our theme, or we can choose from one of our pre-made templates. Okay. And there'll be more templates added in the future as well. So I'm just going to stick to this modern um, design here. And now I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to thank you page okay and here we've got a few options okay so here where it says inherit from global checkout i'm going to go ahead and select no i'm going to create a checkout from scratch okay so we've got a few options so we can choose from these default designs here again more designs will be added in the future or we can actually go ahead and click this one where it says build from scratch okay and then this will allow us to create our own custom thank you template but just to quickly show you one of our default um, designs i'm going to go ahead and click on this one here okay and then we'll navigate over to settings and then we just want to make sure we enable this checkout okay we've got the option as well to set it as a global checkout so i'm going to do this here for the name, we'll just go ahead and add a name. It's just for internal purposes. And where it says applies to, we'll set this to everyone. Okay, we can set it to a specific um, customer segment, a specific user, or to guest users, which are users logged out of our site. Okay, we can customize the place order button. Okay, so we can say buy now or complete purchase or whatever we want to add. We can just enter it in here. Okay, and then here we've got a few rules in which will allow us to close um, our checkout when certain criteria are met. We can ignore it for now. Okay, and here it says enable address autocomplete. I'm going to enable this option and I'll leave a link um, on screen and in the description to a video showing you how to actually utilize this feature here. Okay, so let's just hit save changes. Okay, and now when we refresh this thank you page, okay. Okay, here we can see our new design. Okay, so this is a two column design, which we chose. Okay, let's quickly change it. So let's click thank you page. Let's select this single column layout here. Okay, and now let's refresh this page. 
Okay, and here we can see our single column design. Okay, so this is just a quick and easy way to um, customize the thank you page. And if you wanted to build something from scratch, again, we'll just click. So let's head back here, thank you page, and then we'll just click build from scratch. Okay, this will open up a new tab. Okay, and then from here, we can actually go ahead and design our thank you page. So a few things to note, this will work with any um, page builder. Okay, so if you're using Divi, if you're using um, Elementor, or if you just want to use Gutenberg, you can go ahead and design your thank you page with your favorite. Um, page builder okay but throughout this video i'm just going to use the default um, wordpress editor okay and how this works is we've got a few different um, short codes so i'll leave a link in the description below to the blog post which will be accompanying this video that will list all the different short codes that's available to you okay so you've got um, short codes for um, the customer order id the customer address shipping address and so on okay so you just add the short codes in your design okay okay but since i've already created a design beforehand i'm going to switch over to that design and i'll show you how i actually went about creating it okay so this is a design which i created earlier and it's what you saw in the intro okay so all i've done is i've created three columns okay here you can see our columns and we've got one two three three columns okay and i've just added our short codes so again i've added the order id the order date the user email um, order total and so on okay and then here I've just added some social icons so they can um, stay in touch with our company, okay? I've also added this um, discount here, which you saw on the front end. And then I've also added some best sellers. So let's say, for example, we wanted to reduce this to two rows, well, one row. Okay, so once you finish creating your design, you might want to set a featured image just so you know, let's say in the event you create multiple designs, just so you know what each design looks like. Okay, so you can just add a featured image just so you can distinguish between the two different designs. So we'll just hit update and then we can navigate back to all in one checkout. Okay, and then from here, we can actually go ahead and select our custom design. So this is the design which I've just created. So I'll select this option here and then let's hit save changes okay and now when we refresh we should be able to see our custom design okay and here we can see our custom design so we've got um, our order id we've got um, the user email so on and then here we've got our share button our exclusive discount and um, our products and then these are the new products in which we added right so again it's it's totally up to you, you can be creative let's say you've got a pop-up plugin or let's say you've got a survey plugin or whatever it is you can add it to the thank you page okay personally i recommend um, offering a discount on your thank you page to encourage the customers to make a repeat purchase from yourself i'll also add a post a checkout survey because it's an excellent way to see which marketing channel is currently working for yourselves okay whilst we're here let's quickly let's have a quick look at our actual checkout page so let's navigate to our shop page and this is our checkout page okay so it's just a modern a sleek design we've also got the google street address as well included okay so again it just helps speed up the checkout process for your customer and that's a quick and simple way to customize your woocommerce thank you page in just a few simple steps as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and